Hey everyone, my name is Nish. I manage the rawfedpet.com and I was inspired by Amanda from Holistic Pet Radio to share how I prep my dog's meals. So I do not use commercially prepared raw dog food. I actually prep my dog's meals once a month in these Tupperware containers um, and then I freeze them and then when I need to feed them, I will thaw the night before in the fridge. Okay, so this is how I prepare my dog's meals. So I'll take their meals, um, the already thawed meals that I thawed the night before. Um, this is Dim's meal. He's about 47 pounds and he gets about 1.5 pounds of food a day. So I'll feed three fourths of this in the morning for their breakfast and then I'll feed the rest of the food at night for their dinner. Um, so I just use my hands and I don't touch anything else. Um, I'm just gonna put, this is some lamb grinds, um, some pork chunks. Um, pork is really neutral meat, so if your dog has allergies, it's a good protein to include in your dog's diet. Um, lamb is actually a, not a neutral meat, it's a warming meat, so I wouldn't feed it if your dog has allergies during the summer. And then beef um, is a neutral meat, so that's always good to feed as well. And then I'll just put the rest of this in here. Okay, so I have about that much and then that much left for dinner. Um, so I'll just put that aside. And I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be right back. So this is Flick's meal. He's 60 pounds, but he has a lower metabolism than Dim, so they actually get the same amount of food, which is super convenient. Um, so this is Flick's bowl. He's getting the same thing. He's getting pork chunks. He's getting some lamb grinds. Um, he's also getting some beef liver and some beef spleen. And then that's how much he'll get for dinner. I do um, add things to their meals every day. I don't add the same thing just because I like keeping them sensitive to whatever supplements and extras that I am including in their diet so it's the most beneficial for them. So I like making my own supplements. Um, I like using whole foods just because, to, in my opinion, you know, you're getting all the vitamins and minerals and you're getting the whole food. So I just make these little veggie um, puree cubes to add to their diet once in a while. So each of the boys will get one. And I also like adding um, greenlit muscle powder every day. It's a great source of omega-3s, which helps with inflammation, especially with the joints. And I'll just add two scoops of that over their meals. And then I also like adding a probiotic every time. Um, I usually use raw goat's milk um, and I, I freeze them in cubes, so I'll just add one of those. And then I usually add a little bit of um, filtered water, so just to bind everything so it's easier for them to eat. And that's their meals. Um, you know, once you prep everything and you have everything frozen in cubes or in bags or in Tupperwares, it's super easy to feed them. You just take out the meal and you just add the things that you want to add that day. So I didn't show you Dot's food, but she gets commercially prepared grinds. So this is lamb grinds and turkey grinds, um, the veggie cubes, some water, and then greenlit muscle powder. So this is for her. Wait. Wait, flick. So I like feeding the dogs outside, the big dogs, just because they get messy. So in the summer, I like feeding them on the deck so I don't have to disinfect the floors or anything. Hey, pups. Okay. And they usually are completely fine eating out here um, right next to each other. And yeah, so if you guys want any more videos um, on raw feeding or fresh food feeding, supplement recipes, just comment down below um, and I'll be happy to make those videos.